Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video will be showing you guys Ultra League Ultra League battles with this new team I created. This will be part two. If you guys haven't already watched part one, be sure to check that out. We will be getting four wins today. So the total score out of both part one and part two is nine wins, one loss. If you guys do enjoy, please don't say to drop me a like, subscribing and turn the notifications on. With that being said, let's get on with today's video. Alright guys, for the first round, my opponent's first Pokemon is an Entei. Entei is an only fire type Pokemon, so this is a really good start for us. Due to Gyarados being a water and flying type Pokemon, so we are going to be resisting those fire type moves. But my opponent does make a swap out into Venusaur, so that does allow my Abomasnow to come in. I did swap out into my Abomasnow due to Abomasnow having an ice type move, and ice types are super effective against grass types, and Venusaur will be doing not very effective damage with this friendly plant because grass is not very effective against grass types. But Venusaur may have double moves, and he can have Sludge Bomb as well. Sludge Bomb will be doing super effective damage. That's that is why I did shield here. He did also he did as well he did donate Sludge Bomb actually. And Sludge Bomb is a poison type charge move. Poison types are super effective against grass types once again. So Weather Ball does go through. I did I did not charge or farm it up all the way because I did want to get an extra farm down on him since I do know that he is going to swap out into my and into his Entei because Entei will be doing double super effective damage because of that fire type. Fire type is super effective against both grass and ice types, so that does cause double super effective damage to happen. When my mob, when my Abomasnow did faint, it did allow me to swap out into my Gyarados without having to worry about anything. I did actually decide to throw in a shield here because I did know that he was on a couple of flame chargers and that and he may have fainted me. If not then Aqua Tail did not go through as well. My opponent does make a swap out into into Gardevoir, so that does allow me my Amphios to come in. As you guys know what will happen with Zap Cannon. Every time I try to get up it always one shots, even if it does have neutral damage against all the people that are based already. They've one shot at him, let's see it. And boom, it Gardevoir does go down and his final Pokemon is that Entei. I do not think that he will be able to go up against my Gyarados. He is only a few shots with but with Dragon Burst and he is about to faint. He does learn a charge move, but it is not enough to faint him. My Gyarados, so it does allow us to win the first round. Good game to my opponent. For the second round, my opponent's first Pokemon is a Togekiss. So this is a very bad start for us, since as you guys know, Gyarados does have Dragon Breath for me, and Dragon Breath will be doing not very effective damage due to his very type. So my opponent, so because of that, I did swap out into my Ampharos to, to fight that Togekiss, but my opponent does actually swap out into a Swampert. That is another really bad start for us, because Swampert is a, gra is a ground and water type Pokemon, so he will be resisting my my electric type moves because of that ground type. But this Zap Cannon, as you guys know, is such a strong electric type move. It will it will probably do so much damage, maybe even faint him. But he did decide to shield, and I do go down. So I will make a swap out into my Gyarados. I could swap out into my Abomasnow, but that would be the wrong move to make because I do want to preserve my Abomasnow's health since he is my only counter against the Togekiss, so I did have to make a swap out into, into Gyarados to fight this Swampert. So Swampert is just spamming Hydro Cannons. Swampert is a really good Pokemon. You guys should try him out if you guys do, if you guys do have the Legacy move. Or even elite TMs, I recommend you guys do use it. Swampert is such a really strong Pokemon. So Aqua Tail does go through, but my opponent does not decide to shield. He does instantly swap out into his Togekiss, so I am just going to be spamming my Weather Balls on his on his Togekiss. Weather Ball will be doing super effective damage because Ice type is super effective against flying types. And he is doing plenty of neutral damage because Charm is just such a strong fast type fairy move 
So my opponent does throw in a charge remove. All of Togekiss's charge moves will be doing super effective damage. Aerial Ace will be doing super effective damage. Antrim Power and Flame Thrower, all, all of them will probably be fainting. Well, I almost know. So Weather Ball does go through here. It will, it does faint him. And my Bomb Snow is left with plenty of health left. And his final Pokemon is that Dragonite. And his other final Pokemon is a Swamp Ace. So this Weather Ball will instantly faint him. Since Dragonite is a Dragon type and Flying type Pokemon. And Dragon and Ice types will be doing super effective damage against uh, Dragon types and Flying types. So his final Pokemon is a Swamp Ace. He is 1 HP. I do have my Gear Dust in the back. And it does allow us to win second round of the game to my opponent. For the third round, my opponent's first Pokemon is a Granbull. Once again, this is a very bad start since Granbull is the only fairy type Pokemon, and he is going to be resisting my Dragon Breaths because um, Dragon is not very effective against fairy types once again. So I I do decide to stick the one on one only until I do get my Aqua Tail since Aqua Tail will be doing a good amount of neutral damage against him i am going to be sticking the one-on-one -on -one since aqua tail is going to be doing a lot of neutral damage once again it will probably get him to half health but he did already use a shield so that is really good he does though and he does use both of his shields already so i will make a swap out until bomb is not to to kill him really quickly since weather world is a strong ice type charge move so i do decide to I do decide to zone what I do decide to swap out to a bomb snow because of that. I could have swapped out into my Ampharos, but then I would have had to use Zap Cannon and I could not go for the hard farm down since um since Granbull versus Ampharos. Granbull would will would win the fast move one on one against the Ampharos. So my opponent does actually get another charge move off. I will have to shield since it country is going to be doing plenty of neutral damage against us. Country is a dark type move and we are getting really good energy from his Pokemon. My opponent does actually make a swap out into Venusaur. I think he is planning to use a sludge bomb but he will not be able to get it before I do get my weather balls off. Weather ball will be doing super effective damage against him and my opponent does make a clean swap into Swampert. Swampert is a ground and water type pokemon once again so that weather ball will be doing not very oh, neutral damage against him i am going to charge up to my energy ball he will not be able to get to a sludge wave or earthquake in time to faint my bomb stuff so this will probably be a hydro cannon it is a hydro cannon and it is perfect because my energy ball does charge up my his final pokemon is the venus liner and i do not know if my Amphios can go up against it but his final Pokemon is that name is that Venusaur once again and since he does have Vine Whip, Vine Whip is barely damaging my Abomasnow and it does allow us to get the Weather Ball with 1 HP left. Weather Ball does go through and it does faint him allowing us to win the 4th round good game to our opponent. For the 4th round my opponent's first Pokemon is a Melmetal. We are getting really bad starts. Melmetal is such a strong steel type Pokemon since he does have access to Thunderbolt and Rock Slide. Thunderbolt and Rock Slide will be doing double super, effect or super effective damage against us. Rock Slide will be doing only super effective damage while Thunderbolt will be doing double super effective damage. Thunder Shock, his fast move, is also doing double super effective damage since electric types are super effective against both water types and flying types. So because of that, I do decide to sw make a swap out into my Ampharos. Ampharos is my only counter against him since Melmetal or my Obama Snow will also be doing not very effective damage with his ice and grass type moves. I am just going to get let these rock slides go through since I do know that I will be able to survive two rock slides from the house that I am at. So I do decide to let the rock slides go through. Oh. My opponent does make a swap out into Scizor. This this um, 
zap cannon will probably faint him so that would be really great if he does choose not to shield he does actually choose to shield and i am going to make a swap out into my gyarados once my amphigos does faint he does get a really good farm down on my on my amphigos so he will probably be throwing a bunch of rock slides so rock slide is uh, I mean, Night Slash is a dark type charge move. Dark types will be doing neutral damage against us once again. So, we are going to let that one go through. And then we are going to throw in a shield here. He did get an attack buff on one of the Night Slashes that he did throw. So, that is really bad for us. I will, be have, I will have to shield all of these since my... Uh, my... Uh, Baba Snow will not be able to go up against this against this scissor so aqua tail will probably faint him uh, he is close to fainting he does faint right there i do have zero shields left but he does have one metal metal does come in and aqua tail will be doing s neutral damage against the against him but my uh, baba snow will be doing not very effective damage and rock slide will also be doing super effective damage against my bomb snow but my opponent did decide not to shield there that was such a bad move by my opponent because it his final pokemon is a toga kiss he did not know i did have that a bomb snow he does have one shield left to shield those weather balls but weather ball does charge up very fast we will be able to get to two more weather balls before my opponent does get his charge move so Second weather ball does go through. Weather ball, this weather ball will be doing a lot of neutral damage, super effective damage against him because of his flying type. He is farm down health, and it does allow us to win the fourth round. Good game to our opponent. For the fifth and final round, my opponent's first Pokemon is an altered Giratina. Yuratina is a ghost and dragon type Pokemon, so this is an even start for us since uh, a better start for us since Gyarados does have Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath will be doing super effective damage because Dragon is super effective against Dragon. So my opponent does make a swap out into Clefable because of that, so I am going to make a swap out into my Amphigos. He does actually get his charge room first, so I will have to throw in a shield here. Meteor Mash does go through. Meteor Mash will be doing not very effective damage since Meteor Mash is a steel type charge move. My Zap Cannon will go through here. Zap Cannon will probably faint from the health that he is at, but my opponent does decide to throw in the shield. This is really bad because he will be able to get a really nice farm down on us. So I will have to make a swap out into my Bomber Snow. I do have two counters against that Giratina. I do have my Bomber Snow and my Gyarados. Gyarados will be doing super effective damage and my Obama Snow will also be doing super effective damage. So Weather Ball does go through. He does have zero shields left. So if I so if I do get another Weather Ball, then he will be then that Giratino will will probably be over. <laughs> it will be over for him. So I am just going to go for the really hard farm down. And I do have plenty of energy charged up now. My opponent does make a swap out into Heatran actually. Heatran is a fire and steel type Pokemon. It's a good thing. I did get a Aqua Tail charged up from before since Aqua Tail, Aqua Tail will be doing super effective damage because of because of that um, because of water being super effective against fire types. So this is very bad for us because my opponent does decide to make a swap out into Giratina. Uh, my Ababa Snow will not be able to fight his Heatran. So I do have to go for the farm down right here. I, will, I won't faint him, but instead I will just go for the Powder Snow farm down because I do want to get as much energy as possible to throw against that Heatran. So I am going to throw in Weather Balls since it will be doing more damage, but he is going to be double resisting ice type moves. So it does do not very effective damage and that Heatran does raise my Bob Snow. And it does allow us to lose the fifth round game time opponent. Alright guys, so that will be the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please consider dropping a like, subscribing, and turning notifications on. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.